what am I just, how long does it take? How long does it take from, you know, from start to finish? And if I'm ready to start today and, and work with you, what do I need to have ready to get started? Sure. So I'm going to give the lawyer's answer here, Stephen, tell you it depends. Sure. Um, <laughs> uh, it depends on the jurisdictions you want and uh, that you want, and it depends on you know whether or not there's someone else out there that, 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 that we find out later happens to sound a little bit like yours, confusingly similar with you. But, uh, and the other thing I will say is Canada is a slow, slow place right now in the world to get a trademark registration. Uh, but we have some some ways of, of addressing that. So right now, if, if, if you come to me and say you want a trademark, what I need from you is the name of your business. I need the trademark itself. So whether that's a word mark or a logo or sound or an image, whatever it is that you that you want to use to, to identify your business, I need that. And then I need a statement of your goods and services. Um, and and for the most part, that's, that's enough in Canada, um, provided you have a bona fide intent to use it or you've been using it. If you want to file in the United States, I also need some indication of whether you used it there and when that was or the alternative that you intend to use in the future. So those are the only things I need from you with the one exception in the United States being that, that use information, but otherwise the mark and, and uh, what you do, what you, the goods and services you sell and your name, your business name uh, or the owner of the, uh, of the trademark. So, okay. Um, and then in terms of length of time, I mentioned Canada can be two years, United States, uh, you get a first office action. United States is probably more like six to eight months, I would say. Um, the one thing about Canada is they've instituted, in light of this long delay, um, uh, expedited uh, trademark prosecution, which which they would never do in previous years. But uh, in in the past couple of years, they've instituted this, and I can get an office action now within, um, you know, within within a month or two. Uh, so significantly, probably faster even in the United States. So we we can speed things up when needed in Canada. So, uh, and then I should say at the end of when you go through the process with the examiner. Um, uh, which we'll assume we get one relatively straightforward office action to overcome without without uh, without a really difficult confusion objection. The examiner will will uh, will allow the, the the registration or allow the application, and then the public gets a chance to to say, "Hold on a second, I've been using that trademark." So in in the United States and Canada, they publish them, and the the, the public has an opportunity to oppose that trademark, uh, which is unusual, but it, it does happen. Um, uh, and so depending, assuming we miss that process, you will have your registered trademark uh, probably about a month or two after, after the publication period ends. Okay.